Today we're going to look at how to build a portfolio with very low effort that will allow you to continuously compound and retire rich. Warren Buffett's wife's portfolio. This portfolio, designed by Warren Buffett himself, is one of the easiest portfolios that you can build. Welcome to the Always Be Compounding Club. For those who are new here, I'm Dennis Chen. I'm a full-time investor, uh, worked in MBA, and author of the book, The Option Traders Hedge Fund, published by Financial Times. Let's get started. Warren Buffett, in his 2013 letter to shareholders, uh, suggested that you use the S&P 500 by Vanguard um, in order to accumulate wealth if you're not picking stocks. He said, if somebody doesn't want to put the effort uh, to pick stocks, I suggest just invest in America. Invest in the S&P 500 and you'll do well. So in his 2013 letter, he told his shareholders that he's doing exactly that with his wife's portfolio. Let, let me quote a paragraph from that 2013 letter. Quotes, put 10% of the cash in short-term government bonds and 90% in a very low cost S&P 500 index fund. I suggest Vanguard's, end quotes. Uh, that's pretty much it. The portfolio is made up of two funds. One, 10% in government, uh, short-term government securities, US government, and two, 90% uh, in the S&P 500 index fund from Bar Vanguard. Warren Buffett uh, believes in America and believes that the S&P 500 is a fairly diversified portfolio made up of the 500 biggest U.S. publicly traded companies. Warren Buffett made a bet in 2008 with a fund of fund manager, uh, hedge fund manager, that the S&P 500 would outperform the hedge funds, a fund of hedge funds over a 10 year period. And uh, so they bet a million dollars in it. And lo and behold, uh, by 2017, Warren Buffett won the bet. The S&P 500 outperformed after fees, the uh, fund of hedge funds of the, the fellow he bet. Uh, you can Google it and look it up. So let's look at the portfolio. The portfolio is easy to, to, to build. You just have to open a brokerage account. Um, I would suggest one of the big ones, Schwab, TD Ameritrade, which now is Schwab, uh, Fidelity, um, Merrill Lynch, uh, any of those would, would be fine. Uh, even, yeah, or you could use M1 Finance, Robinhood, whoever that gives you access to the uh, US equity markets. And once you have that uh, account set up, all you need to do is to buy the Vanguard S&P 500 uh, ETF, I, I would suggest the ETF. You could also use their traditional mutual fund, but it's easier doing ETF. ETF is, exchange, is the exchange traded fund. So the symbol is VOO. VOO is the symbol of the S&P 500 ETF by Vanguard. And the second one, the 10% for the secure, uh, US Treasury backed securities, I would suggest VTIP, B-T-I-P, Vanguard Treasury Inflation Protected Securities. Basically invest in US treasuries that are indexed to inflation with a duration or a term less than five years. That's pretty much it. It's very easy to set up. Um, there's, a, there's a slight variation that I could suggest, which is instead of using the VOO, which is the S&P 500, you could also use uh, the V. TI, which is the Bangor, Bangor Total Stock Market Portfolio, which instead of the top 500 stocks in the United States, it takes the entire stock market of the United States. Now, that includes the S&P 500 stocks, the f top 500, plus another 3,500 stocks, which includes medium size and small caps, smaller size companies. Let's do a quick back test of the Warren Buffett portfolio. So we'll use Portfolio Visualizer. Let's see us use the defaults, $10,000 invested uh, since they have the information. Um, let's do BTIP, the Bangor Short-Term Inflation Protected Securities um, ETF, 10%, oops, 10%, Portfolio 1, Portfolio 2, 10%, VOO, which is the Vanguard S&P 500 ETF, 
90% for 41. And let's try the VTI, which is a total stock market ETF, 90% portfolio too. Uh, I'll, I'll add a, a portfolio number three as the S&P 500 straight up without any uh, treasury securities. If you invested $10,000 in uh, at the end of 2012, uh, at the end of March 2022, we would have in portfolio one $34,092. That's the Warren Buffett's portfolio straight up as Warren Buffett suggested. Portfolio two, which is the, with the change of adding the, uh, uh, using the total market instead of the S&P 500, which is uh, only 80% of the market. We get $33,119. And if you just did the straight up S&P 500 without the 10% uh, of treasuries, and you get 37,932. And then over the last five years, uh, portfolio number one had a 14.75% annualized return. Portfolio two, 14.2%, um, and the S&P 500 had almost 16%. But overall, Portfolio one and two are very, very similar. Uh, a little bit of variation, but uh, you're getting a broader, more diversified portfolio uh, using the total market versus the S&P 500. The returns are pretty much very close. The only thing that gives you is the total stock market. Uh, the, the VTI gives you the total stock market versus the 80%, which is the 500 top, uh, the 500 top stocks so that's it that's warren buffett's wise portfolio uh, it's a very simple portfolio. two funds one is uh u.s treasuries and two is the s p 500 index or the total stock market index in another video we'll, we'll talk about john bogle's portfolio which is a three fund portfolio and we'll probably do one on rick ferry's four fund portfolio also Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. Uh, please comment below, ask me questions, give me ideas of what you'd like to see. And uh, if you like what you're seeing, please subscribe to the channel so you can get the updates as we produce more videos. Thank you very much and remember to always be compounding. Take care, so long.